Greetings. Welcome to Queen L LLC. This is Queen L. Thank you so much for joining me today. So this reading is regarding the upcoming full moon in Leo, which takes place on February 5th. However, there's a shadow period that occurs prior to and um, lingers a bit after the full moon occurs. So you may experience some of the energy regarding the full moon and also be able to um, impart and receive the benefits of the full moon um, several days prior to. So um, around February 2nd, leading up to February 5th, you'll be able to feel and also embrace that energy that takes place. Now, what is the full moon? What does that mean? So we know the full moon is when we see the full moon as it states. So the full moon would be when you see the moon in all its glory, when it's fully illuminated by the sun. Now, the full moon um, in Leo, that means that the moon is transiting through the Leo constellation or Leo energy at that point. And um, Leo is a fire sign. Leo is all about being self-assured, confident, has a lot of fiery, powerful, um, definitely overconfident energy okay now full moon time is all about manifestation it's all about um our hidden selves that's the typical moon energy is our hidden emotions full moon is all about the time to manifest any intentions that you may have set at the new moon to now be able to um, manifest those intentions okay and if you haven't set any intentions Rest assured, it's okay. It's no time like the present. Just know that the full moon energy is all about manifestation, okay? So this is the time, like I was saying, to embrace that Leo energy with that manifestation, to tap into being uber confident, tap into being self-assured, and tap into that um, energy, especially with regard to self-care. So if you have seen um, or haven't seen my previous videos, um, we had in the last week a Venus transit into Pisces on January 26th. I will link that video above. And so this is time to practice self-care, to love on ourselves. We have the series Retrograde, which is taking place February 3rd through um, May 6th. And um, if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely I'll link that above. Check that out. So series Retrograde being all about um, Earth Mother, who um, is represented by Ceres, is backing off to allow us the time and the free will to, um, it's like the old adage, um, you know, instead of just giving you fish, I can teach you to fish for yourself, empower you to do for yourself. So Earth Mother is backing off with this series retrograde and saying, you know, now is the time for you to embrace yourself, love on yourself, practice that self-care. And now with this full moon energy, you can take all of that energy from Venus transiting into Pisces um, and encouraging us to practice self-care into the series retrograde beginning February 3rd with Earth Mother backing off to allow us room to practice that self-care. And now into full moon in Leo to manifest all of that self-care and self-love and to also manifest our desires manifest um, whatever creative pursuits that we aspire to you know endeavor to go ahead and to claim them and to make them so okay so i will use my beloved um, modern witch tarot deck link that unboxing above and we'll get started with a reading I've already shuffled this deck, so we'll just pull a few cards to see if our spirit guides have any additional information with regard to this message. So we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Now, if you see Seven of Wands upright, there's a lot going on, a lot of stakes in the fire, so to speak. So as you see, there's a balancing act going on and just a lot, just a lot of energy. Wands are all about our aspirations 
all about our um, interests, all about our endeavors. And so there's a lot going on. But with seven of wands being in reverse, that's letting you know that now is the time. This is all about manifestation. Instead of maybe feeling like you're spread thin and you have, you know, too many things going on, um, this is the time encouraging you to diversify to, you know, if you're interested in having multiple streams of income, this is the time to branch out and to start expanding any type of interest that you have, any hobbies, um, put, put yourself out there. If that's what, I mean, use this Leo energy. If there's something that you've been dreaming about, just thinking about contemplating, this is that extra nudge from spirit from source to encourage you to explore those opportunities okay let's see we have judgment this is also in reverse so judgment looks like that and some people view judgment the judgment card as positive or negative i don't view any of them in a term of positive or negative energy it's all about um how they correlate with what you are experiencing in life as well as um just how you receive the message that's being conveyed so the judgment card in reverse this is telling you just to be mindful as with the series retrograde and libra um where i said that it's all about balance and justice with that libra energy that just to be mindful of um, the endeavors that you explore that you practice discernment Okay, so the judgment card is all about just justice being served. But with the judgment card in reverse, just be mindful that you practice discernment as you explore these endeavors, as you practice self-care, taking care of yourself, looking out for yourself, that you practice discernment with your own actions as well as your interactions with others. Okay, And then we have the temperance card again in reverse. Now, temperance, this, again, is all about justice and balance. Um, one of the cards, just to give you a heads up, a little insider scoop, if you haven't seen my series retrograde video, one of the cards, the oracle card that I pulled was the yin yang, yin yang card. And that's all about balance. It's all about peace within your spirit, peace within your life, within your heart, within your mind. And that's what the temperance card is about. But in reverse, there's a bit of a conflict there. And it's just, again, for you to practice discernment with the choices that you make and with the interactions that you have with others. Now, where does that all shake out with regard to this full moon in Leo energy? All it means is as you are manifesting, as you are digging deep into that moon work, if you're doing any shadow work, any inner child work, to really dig deep and to um, think about any type of karmic relationships, karmic energy in your life, any type of, um, just any type of interactions that you have with others, I would say. This is about self-work, though. It is about self-work, but just know that a lot of times as we do that inner child work, as we do that shadow work, we find that a lot of our interactions with other people, a lot of it has to do with ourselves a lot of it has to do with our perception based off of our own inner trauma our own um you know situations our own um just personal um, unconscious bias if you will based off of our own experiences individually they can manifest in our dealings and interactions with others so this goes into that self-care self-care is not just you know, the glamour of, you know, I'm just going to, you know, practice my own personal wellness. I'm going to, you know, hit the gym. I'm going to, um, you know, eat better or, you know, more um, better for my wellness, if you will. This is also about doing the psychological work, doing the mental work um, for ourselves so that we can be better in our community so that we could be better for Mother Earth and nature, and so that we could be better for our loved ones as well. Now, pull one more card. 
we have the six of cups something that i said in another video i kept pulling reverse cards and i was like i promise i don't have all reverse cards like my next card would have been an upright card but i just go where energy leads and um so this is six of cups in reverse now cups is this is about dealing with the inner child work okay so um and the cups are all about emotions in reverse there could be a blockage there this is the perfect time the perfect time leading up to this full moon energy to embrace that fiery um you know outward um exuberant leo energy use that energy channel that energy into doing the work the work is not easy the work does not come easy to us the work is not it, it's not horrific either it's about how you just put it in perspective do the work to um not only diversify with your interests and that's a part of manifestation but manifest wellness in your heart manifest um chakras being aligned within you right manifest um a holistic way of being in your mind in your spirit right there's a lot of root chakra chakra work that needs to take place and this is the time to do that so use this full moon to do that to work together for your good for your betterment okay now i'm going to pull one of my energy um oracle deck cards okay so we have um this is the action card now as you see this card has um both a white and a black horse that is a part of the yin yang yin yang energy it's all about um just finding that balance like i said with the series retrograde and libra that it's all about um not so much like light and darkness but it's all about just balancing um that divine feminine sacred masculine energy and finding the balance i mentioned chakras being aligned it's all about finding that balance as well tap into this energy use your affirmations to manifest wellness in your life self-care in your life healing in your life okay let's do the work together if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to reach out peace i